Hi and welcome to the quick start guide for Displacer Pro. So I've just applied this to an image here and at its default we're not using a map layer so it's just going to displace the itself using itself as a map and you can choose which channel you'd like to displace with. I'm just going to rotate that and we can see that it's displacing itself based on the luminance. If we displace on something say the alpha in this case it's going to move the entire image and that's a good way to demonstrate the edge behavior so we've got repeat mirror repeat and edge repeat. I'm going to set that back to none and if you're doing a transition and say this is image A and you want this to transition off um, you'll notice that some of the pixels aren't really budging and that might be annoying you know if you're going to do a transition you need all the pixels to leave the screen uh, so what you can do is in map adjustments here come in and offset the displacement and that's just going to move the last few stubborn pixels so you can do your, your usual animation and then maybe just keyframe that of course you don't have to use rotation, you've got scale, you can um, scale it non-uniformly or uniformly if you want. Uh, the anchor point also you can change that, that affects scale and rotation and uh, it's percentage based so it's quite handy. We can change the softness of the map, so currently you can see we're getting some kind of um, aliasing or jaggies, you could probably fix that with FXAA or you could um, soften this up and you can punch this really far to sort of create a very um, very liquid effect. Another cool feature we have is chromatic aberration. So these are multipliers of your transform. So for example, if I want a chromatic aberration, I might set this to 9.5 and this to 1.05. And then we've got chromatic aberration in the, um, in the displacement. I'll just lower the softness to emphasize that. Uh, if you'd like to use another map, you can just add it up here. As I said before, otherwise it's just gonna use itself. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's basically the displacement map, but on steroids. Uh, it can do a bit more. So I hope you enjoy playing around with Displacer Pro.